So today there's a sudden realization that this is my last full Monday here before I go back to the US. Uh, I have like one week left and I have to make the most of it. One thing I really want to do is get one more shave and ear picking of course. I have to fit that in before I leave and uh, maybe take my cousins out to a movie. Everything else is just work and flying by the seat of my pants. For today, Monday the 13th, I'm having for breakfast some leftover soy, which is like a sticky rice and fried chicken. I gave one of the chicken legs to the dog downstairs who is hungry and constantly starving. So uh, that's my good deed for this morning. One thing I'll definitely miss when I'm gone is being able to do my business in the morning with the door wide open on the balcony and then, and uh, enjoying the beautiful sun and daylight. <sighs> That's great. So as I began my work day, all of a sudden I hear this flapping and cacawing right outside my door. So what the, f the stupid girl downstairs just decides to drop her chicken up on my floor. Like this isn't the first time she's done stuff like this. She'll actually like just like bring stuff up to my floor thinking I won't mind. Like one time she had her like kid in a cradle up here with her friend and it's like in my space. But it's like, you know, it's like some people here are weird like that. Like she thinks it's okay and like, what can you do except like tell her like, what are you doing? So like, is this a first world problem or not? Because like the locals here, you know, in Vietnam, they like depend on each other to like help each other out and they brush a lot of things off like it's nothing. But like now it's starting to, kind of irritate me but I don't think she understands like what boundaries are and it's not like I can complain to the landlord about it because one he's not even in town he's up in Hanoi and two I think they're like close friends so it's not like he's going to come down hard on her three she's got like gangster boyfriends who would probably like kill me literally F this place I'm glad I only have a week left so for lunchtime, I wander downstairs to go over to my aunt's house. Then I come across the poor doggy, the neglected doggy that the stupid neighbor downstairs doesn't take care of. And it is so bad, it like shits and pisses all over the place. No food. Ugh. So for my slight change of scenery today, I walked over to the coffee house to get some work done. It's 7 o'clock at the coffee house and I'm supposed to be meeting somebody new, like a new friend here at 7, but I ran out of money on my phone so she can't call me I don't think. And uh, I don't know if she knows the exact address of this place, she knows the district, but uh, we'll see if she even gets here. So the person I was supposed to meet today bailed out, which is fine. It's. I don't know if I had the time to really hang out with someone that I haven't even really met yet. <laughs> Try to make new friends or anything. I got a lot of work to do yet. But 
I think I'm gonna bail out of here and I'm going to uh, maybe just walk around a little bit. Walk around Saigon and um, maybe see if I can find an interesting gift uh, for the woman tomorrow. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day, so uh, you know, uh, let's see what they have around here. So I'm walking down the street here and I see some stores up the street, you know, like little dress stores, purse stores, um, jewelry store, but I don't know if those are knockoffs. I don't even know what to get the woman. Um, I don't know what's good quality and what's not really, so I don't think I'm just going to get her anything. I'll just get her some food tomorrow. <laughs> Later that night, I returned to my room to work, work, work. What a boring day. Tomorrow will be better. <laughs>